now let us go to the third point that is administrative demands so what were the administrative demands made by the early nationalists to the British government first one demands for the Indianization of services through simultaneous exam uh, simultaneous Indian civil service exams in England and India so the uh, early nationalists said that all the government service should be Indianized within the country and then the civil service exam should be held together in England and India at the same time. Number three, complete separations of the executive and the judiciary should be done. They made this demand for the protection Indians from the arbitrary act of the police and the bureaucracy. Arbitrary means unlawful arrest. That means the people, Indian people should not be arrested without any reason. And also should be uh, protected from the bureaucrats. That means bureaucrats means the government officers who unjustly put unnecessary would call the accused and then they are told to pay huge amount of loans without any proper reasons. Now number three, increase in the power of the local bodies and reduction of the officials control over them and the increase in the power of local bodies so the Indian local bodies or the council members should be given more responsibilities and power and protection of the officials control over them and the officers British officers who are above them and their power should be reduced number four repeal of the arm act and the license act so the removal of the arm act and the license act so these all acts which were implemented by lord Lytton should be changed or finished number four five wider employment of indian in the higher grades of administrative service so indians should be much given importance in the higher grade services higher level services in the government jobs number six spread of primary education among the masses and the british should much focus on the primary educations and for that it must open big number of primary schools number seven improvement of the people's uh, sorry police police system to make you know it honest officials and popular so the police department should be more honest and efficient for the people and let because of the police system that the people should not be affected badly or they should be have the belief that police is there for their protections for their goodness now let us go to the fourth number defense of the civil rights the alienists list defended civil rights whenever British government tried to curtail them so alienists list always were in favor of the protecting civil rights of the Indians and they also were against of British government who was trying to reduce these all what is called the civil rights in fact it was because of the political work done by the early nationalists that democratic ideas began to take root among Indians the early nationalists demanded the following civil rights so number one removal of the restrictions imposed by the British government on the freedom of speech so in the civil rights they said that let the Indian people should be given the full freedom of speech and also the press Indian press should be given the full full freedom to publish its materials its own news in the paper number three so number two abolition of the 
preventive detentions against the restoration of individual liberties and also let the unlawful arrest of the people should be removed finished and then let the people should have the individual liberties and let that should be maintained by the british government number 3 the restoration of the right to assemble and form association and the people should be given the right to come together and also create the associations where they could discuss and consult talk about the different matters where they can put forth their own opinions and other suggestions so they demanded to the british government that the people should be given the right of assembly and association the alienists were practical they wanted to win freedom by a gradual process and these all demands they made it gradually and not immediately or suddenly they did not aim of high demands because they wanted to work on the lines list restrictions besides they did not want to arouse serious op- oppositions so since they had a great faith or they had a great belief on british they didn't want to challenge openly british to british government so whatever demands they made they made it with kind hearted with we call the honest mindset so dear students these are the points you just go through with the, through this video and then understand and keep in your mind thank you